Hey guys, welcome to Monster Python Search demonstration video. My name is Alexander Nikitin. I am a professional trader and the developer of Python Search software. Okay, in today's video, I will talk about how to prepare your MetaTrader platform, how to install Monster uh, Python Search files, and uh, I will talk about the settings of Monster Python Search, how to fine tune it uh, to get the best result, and I will also talk about the backtesting results uh, that I have. Uh, so you could uh, think about uh, the ways you can manage your portfolio. Okay, uh, what is actually a monster pattern search? A monster pattern search is a tool that identifies and draws advanced and harmonic patterns on your chart before they complete. So you have time to place the trade, you have time uh, to uh, prepare for your uh, trading. Okay, what is next? Uh, roughly speaking, Monster Pattern Search has two main functions. It has automatic function to draw the patterns automatically, and it has manual functions uh, to draw patterns manually. Uh, when I say manual, uh, this doesn't mean that you measure each leg with your Fibonacci stretching from X to A, from A to B, and so on and so forth. You just simply click on some major points, and Monster Pattern Search will calculate everything automatically and draw it automatically as well. Roughly speaking, Monster Pattern Search is the combination of my Manual HPS software plus automatic HPS software and Monster Pattern Search has a backtesting function as well. Okay, uh, let's start the installation process. First of all, you need to do the next steps. Open your MetaTrader, go to Tools and go to Options. In Options, uh, here you have, uh, under the Chart tab, you have Max Basin History 5000 and Max Basin Chart 5000 as well. This means that uh, uh, you have only 5000 bars in history and in your chart. Uh, it's not enough for backtesting. For example, if you have only 5,000 bars on 15 minute time frame, it will be maybe one or two years back uh, into history. Just if you want to do the backtest, enable the larger number, uh, 250,000 bars would be better. Uh, but if you want your MetaTrader to work a bit faster, uh, you, you'd better use the smaller uh, number of bars uh, because Monster Pattern Search recalculates uh, everything from the first bar to the last bar, and the more bars you have, the more RAM consumption it is. Okay, uh, once you've done this, uh, click OK. If you want to do the backtest, that is very important. You should go to Tools, you should go to History Center, and here you are to choose the pairs, uh, majors, minors, whatever. It may uh, differ from broker to broker. Press Download on whatever pair, whatever time frame, press Download, and you will download the quotes from your uh, broker. In uh, the previous step, you should uh, enable uh, the number of bars. You see, I enabled 5,000 bars. So uh, if I only allow to download 5,000 bars, uh, I will only have 5,000 bars in my history. But if I allowed uh, 1 million bars, I will uh, download as many bars as uh, my broker can provide. So in the previous step, allow the bars in history before you can download that. Uh, OK, so uh, what is next? On the chart, uh, once you downloaded the bars, right-click on that and press refresh. So your bars will be recalculated and redrawn, and you will uh, have less gaps. You will uh, have uh, no missing data. Let me open some chart, uh, something euro dollar maybe uh, chart window, and let me go to here. It is. Let me switch that to one hour time frame. Uh, here's my chart, uh, Monster Pattern Search is already installed, and I will now uh, show you how you should install the Monster Pattern Search. You are given, you are sent two files, MPS 3.5 and Pattern Trader System. First of all, you should copy them and go to Open Data Folder, uh, go to MQL4, and Monster Pattern Search should be placed in uh, Indicators folder here. You can also create some folder for it as well. Create folder, name it Monster Pattern Search, it doesn't matter. So it should be somewhere within this directory. Uh, then you should go back and uh, place the expert advisor or pattern trade assistant here. So you will have it here. Okay, once this is done, you need to close that, you need to close your meta trade and open it once again. After you did that, your files will appear here. You see, automatic HPS, manual HPS, monster HPS. And here are some folders, trend, oscillators, volume, bill, volumes, and, and so on and so forth. If you created some folder, uh, your indicators will be under this folder. For example, this uh, standard folder that I created for standard indicator of Monster Pattern Search. Uh, sorry, of uh, MetaTrader, standard indicators of MetaTrader. Well, double click on that and it will be attached to your chart. Pretty simple, double click and uh, the window appears, you should put some settings here. Okay, I already have my Monster Pattern Search installed and it is running. So under the indication indicators, uh, I can find it. 
First of all, what we have here, how many bars should be analyzed? 500 is pretty good number. It is the visible part of the chart. If you are using that for real-time trading, it is enough not to consume lots of RAM uh, of your computer. Okay, calculate mode, calc mode. What is this calc mode? Uh, this is actually uh, the way you are to calculate XA size. I am calculating my XA size in ATR. ATR is average true range. It is the indicator uh, that shows you uh, what is the average range of your candles. So. I'm calculating the XA size as being the range of 8 ATR towards the 34 ATR. But you can switch that to pips like this, yes? And you can type, and here you will have 8 decimal of pips towards 3.4 pips. Of course, I have 5 digit broker, that's why 8 doesn't mean 8 pips, it means 8 decimal of pips. Uh, so let's say you only want uh, to show uh, patterns from 100 pips, this is 100, and another 0 for 5 digit broker, towards 500 pips. 500 pips and another 0. Uh, to have five digit broke yes so these numbers mean 100 pips and 500 pips press ok and uh, you will have the pattern that fit the, this criteria yes this pattern fit this criteria so you can deal with absolute numbers like pips or you can uh, deal with range numbers like ATR so I use ATR this is my uh, preference but if you backtest and find that 100 to 500 uh, pips is better you are free to do that this is the professional tool that can be fine-tuned to what uh, to display it uh, the manner you want it. I will reset that. Uh, my settings, default settings are uh, good. Of course, you can auto scan them or you can switch that off to have manual function. So, manual function when you have all and automatic function if you have uh, this to true. Uh, well, what if you want uh, manual function and automatic function to run uh, at the same time? This is pretty simple. Just attach another indicator, switch that to false, and here it is. One of them is running automatic function and another one let me show it to you, is running manual function. Look, it draws X to A, to B, let's see, it should go here. You see, the manual uh, function has drawn another cipher, uh, a bit more precise than uh, automatic function, just to be uh, to make some slight adjustments. Uh, it may be useful for you. I, I'm pretty good with automatic function, so it doesn't matter if I have a manual function or not. Uh, well, let's continue. Uh, two indicators, the last one can be deleted. Okay, and let me go with the stuff, and it is redrawn. Let's go, what other settings we have? First of all, we have uh, drawing settings. I will come to this back. <laughs> I will skip that uh, step, and I will go to this. Uh, we have two blocks of patterns, advanced formations. Uh, this is an aggressive pattern that are only reliably on Fibonacci ratios, and if the ratios are such and such, uh, you just place a limit order and stop loss, and uh, almost set and forget method. Uh, and also we have another block uh, that is called harmonic patterns you have more harmonic patterns uh, advanced formations are only four patterns uh, Gartley bats cyphers and butterflies there are no more advanced formations but uh, harmonic patterns you have eight patterns uh, Gartley bat butterfly crab big crab alternative bat and shark uh, shark and shark too so you have eight of uh, harmonic patterns harmonic pattern trading is much more conservative if compared to advanced pattern trading because with harmonic pattern trading you are looking for a confluence of Fibonacci ratios of X to A uh, of uh, AB equals CD harmonic movement that's why they are called harmonic patterns they all contain AB equals CD if you don't have AB equals CD within your pattern that uh, this means you aren't uh, trading harmonic patterns this is mandatory and uh, the corresponding BC inversion that should in line with those uh, two previously discussed levels uh, all the three uh, show you the potential reversal zone uh, where you are to look at some price action, maybe hammer reversal reversal pattern or maybe engulfing uh, candlestick pattern or whatever. Uh, and only then you make your decision to end. Only then. This is a conservative way of trading. Harmonic patterns aren't trading the same way that uh, uh, advanced patterns trade. And also advanced patterns versus harmonic patterns uh, have uh, different ratio sets. So the range between uh, advanced pattern and harmonic set differs very much. If you, uh, For example, uh, if you compare a godly advanced formation it has the b-point range within the uh, 0.618 of xa towards 0.786 uh, xa so if a uh, price uh, hits somewhere within this range this means uh, that we are looking at the godly pattern uh, one of the criteria uh, the b-point it, it's not all the criteria but one of the criteria but in case of a godly pattern not godly formation uh, that is harmonic uh, that is advanced but godly pattern that is harmonic uh, it is said that uh, the b-point is Precise 618. What, what this means precise? Of course, we can have some deviations. What if price uh, hits uh, the level somewhere in the middle between the 786 and 618? If price is closer to 618, 
it will be a harmonic pattern. And if it is closer to 786, but doesn't touch that, it will be a butterfly pattern. So the same with uh, the type of uh, when price is in the middle between the 50 and uh, 618. If price uh, is one pip closer, for example, to 618, even if it doesn't touch 618, it will be a godly pattern. But with advanced pattern, if it doesn't touch 618, even by one pip, it will be a bad pattern. See the difference? So the difference in approach, how you treat those ranges, uh, is also uh, in front of that. If you are interested in uh, exact rules for harmonic patterns identification, advanced patterns identification, you're welcome to visit my website, www.software.net. Uh, click Learn the Patterns tab, and, uh, choose the diagram, click on that diagram, and you will have the detailed description. It is the only free uh, source uh, available on the internet. So other sources actually will uh, ask you for money uh, for a trading course, uh, either on Godly, uh, for harmonic pattern trading or advanced pattern trading. Okay, let's continue. So we have two sets of patterns, harmonic and advanced. You can display them both, or you can display one by one. I advise you to choose one of them. So my preferable is the bat, uh, so the, uh, the advanced formations, and uh, my uh, harmonic patterns are switched to false by default. Uh, not because I prefer advanced patterns rather than harmonic patterns, uh, simply because I am an aggressive type of trader. I like to trade with limit orders, and I don't want to sit in front of my computer waiting for some kind of information. Uh, uh, that's uh, not for me. I'm a swing trader rather than day trader. But if you are day trading, our patterns are extremely profitable. Let's continue. Uh, now we go uh, to patterns. I will explain the patterns. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, as we have a cipher pattern here uh, identified by uh, monster pattern search, let's uh, use it as an example. Uh, let's go to cipher. All the patterns have the same uh, uh, the same settings. Go to cipher. Uh, what you can do, cipher formation, true or false, if you disable that, it will disappear, of course, and you don't have any ciphers, you don't have any patterns. Okay, based on your backtesting, maybe you just checked and you say, you know what, ciphers aren't good on one hour euro dollar, so let me switch them off, and you will never have them. Because uh, based on your uh, backtesting, they uh, don't show good results. Uh, it depends on you, you can fine tune that. Okay, the color, wonderful, this is one of the perfect features. Magenta is my for ciphers, but you can set it black. Uh, let's see what happens. So, the cipher is black. Uh, next, what we have next? Uh, you can set the background, background, false or true. If it is true, you will have the pattern displayed this way. Pretty, pretty good as well, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, next, you can do it with every pattern. Uh, it's not uh, the cipher pattern is only a demonstration for you. Okay, next you have the cipher pattern stops. Conventional uh, rules say that the stop should go. Uh, beyond X, but there are some variations how it can go beyond X. Uh, one of uh, uh, the most common uh, things is to use 117 X to C ratio. So if you press 1, the stop will go to 117 X to C ratio. Okay, okay, the stop loss goes here. Let's measure that. If my software actually <laughs> draws the pattern according to the uh, Fibonacci, X to C, 117 coincides exactly. You see that? Okay, uh, what else? Uh, let's go to here. To the settings once again, cipher formation, uh, one uh, ATR plus X or minus X in case of uh, uh, bullish pattern below X. Uh, this means uh, beyond X. I need to add plus minus X here. Uh, well, if you type two, it will be one ATR. What this means, it's not exactly X if we stretch the one thirteen. In many cases, it coincides with uh, one thirteen. You see. Uh, almost uh, one sitting. Sometimes it is lower, sometimes it is larger. Uh, in many cases, it will somewhere around that area. One sitting is that. Uh, going next, what is next? Let me delete this stuff. I will explain you how I delete these patterns and uh, how I delete those uh, drawings in a single uh, type. Uh, let us go here. Go to where? To the settings. Control E. Monster pattern search. Uh, what is equal distance? Well. It is this. Look here. Uh, better to see one than to hear a thousand of times. If you stretch the fields, you can calculate the targets. Yes. Uh, here's your potential target. Uh, the 382. The second target is 618. So the equal distance means that you risk an initially the same amount as towards the first step. 41.4 versus 41.4. Uh, believe it, it is the same. And then you have number four that is called. Uh, that is called where is my cipher pattern? Cipher, 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 cipher. 
Okay, that is called ELX. This is my own variation of cipher. Uh, the stop goes exactly at X, and uh, the entry is also modified. So it is within this stop variation, you will find my own cipher variation. What is this strange variation that I'm talking about? This is the entry, uh, not the conventional 786, but rather 80.9. I have found those uh, ratios working uh, pretty, uh, being very, very precise. That's why I'm using that. Uh, simply based on my back testing, you can watch that somewhere. Palm New Zealand, maybe. Uh, this is the same 80.9. Uh, uh, look at this touch and reverse. I didn't have a chance even to enter that. You can see this uh, here the targets now. I am to delete this order. So I was a bit late uh, because they are very, very sharp reversal within that area. Let me stretch the fibs. And you will see that was exactly 80.9. So with godless, with bad, with ciphers, I'm using that 80.9. Uh, this is unified entry for me. So if you will uh, use that, you are welcome back as that and either prove uh, that this level is precise or prove that this level is not precise and reject this level. Uh, it is up to you. You are free to do that. Uh, let me go to indicators. Let me do this thing. Uh, background. I dislike background. I like it this way. Okay. Okay. Uh, background is something uh, tricky with uh, MetaTrader 4, uh, and because of that, uh, MetaTrader 4 looks uh, this way. So uh, let me do it this way. Okay, we have some color here, yes, and if I copy that, uh, come on, how can I copy that? Like this, yes. Uh, look what happens when these two rectangles overlap. The area disappears, it becomes uh, white. So it, it's not good. Uh, if you have a cipher drawn, yes, and then you have uh, let's say manually drawn the cipher or you draw, draw the cipher with some difference between identification algorithm uh, and they overlap uh, it will disappear that's why I'm not a fan of using uh, I'm not a fan of using background uh, for pattern identification that's uh, because sometimes you can see them uh, disappearing well continue continue uh, this is meta trader feature meta trader 4 you should keep that in mind in order not to face some some difficulties uh, let's go next my variation was explained uh, that's it for advanced formations only let's go to harmonic patterns disable everything that is called formation yes 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 disable 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 and then go enable everything that is called uh, harmonic patterns. Well, uh, I won't uh, enable everything. It doesn't matter. One, two, three patterns is enough. So what do we have? Well, we have some pattern. This is a bad uh, pattern, uh, bad harmonic pattern. You can see the color difference. If you have a red pattern, this is godly. Uh, yellow pattern is bad. Uh, blue pattern is deep crab. Uh, what is that? Purple is a magenta is cipher. Uh, gray or is the butterfly, black is shark 1, green is shark 2, uh, lime is alternative bat, I suppose that's all. So just get you to this and uh, you will uh, remember the colors or you can set your own and you can also uh, hover over this uh, triangle names and you will have a name like this, auto, bat pattern and blah 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 if you need the name of the pattern. Let's go here. As I promised you, you have three prices, X to A uh, price extension. You have a, a B equals CD measurement. In this case, we have extended A B equals CD. Uh, this means that the second leg is uh, something more than the first leg. Uh, typically, it is some Fibonacci ratio of 127 XA. Uh, the first leg, uh, 161 A, AB, 2 AB, or whatever. Extended A, B, C, D pattern. And the B, C inversion. You can see that B, C inversion uh, as well. So within this potential reversal zone, we are looking at some entry within this potential reversal zone. So the rules for harmonic trading say that you need to wait until price hits all the three levels and only after that you are looking for some kind of reversal kind of like formation that should be below the highest of the pro uh, potential reversal zone to have a better risk reward. Uh, right now it is equal distance I suppose. Right now it is equal distance. Uh, let me measure that. For stop placement is equal distance. 75.62 75 six yes you can set your own uh, as usual let's say you say I don't want to risk that much I want to risk what want to risk some ATR okay some ATR below and you will have it much closer you see that you have your stop loss much closer one ATR below X 
so uh, you have a better risk reward. Uh, let's go next. What is next? Uh, next, uh, the drawing settings. Back to drawing settings. Uh, I promise that I will uh, come back. Uh, drawing settings here. Draw prices, draw rectangle, or draw simplified harmonic. This is for harmonic types only. Advanced prices have only one price. That's why you don't have the potential reversal zone being three prices. Okay, if you switch that to to the potential reversal zone of harmonic pattern, it uh, turns into a rectangle. You see, this is the rectangle. Uh, you can enlarge that this way. Yes. So this is the reversal zone. If price goes here, you are looking for something and blah blah blah. Uh, then what is next? Drawing setting. Drawing setting number four. Number three. This is the simplified. Where is my butt? Equal distance. Uh, this, this, this. Uh, this is okay. Go here. Simplified harmonic. What is simplified harmonic? You will only have one price. And your reversal zone is actually the zone between your entry and your stop loss, yes? So the pattern will be valid until it, uh, until it hits stop loss. So if you trade it this way, you can look for a reversal somewhere within this area. If it doesn't exceed stop loss, so the pattern is not invalidated. And it uh, depends on your rule. And the rule should be backtested as well. You just, uh, uh, it all depends on your trade plan. If you decided to be this way, well, you are welcome. Uh, do it this way. Uh, whatever convenient to you. Uh, here in comments you have how many pips your ATR is if you treat it this way yes so your ATR looks this way 8 ATR means 110 and 8 decimal of pips and 34 ATR means uh, 47 uh, 471 and 0 pips so this is ADR this is what ADR means okay so next 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 next, next. Uh, that's it other patterns are similar and now uh, let's go to backtesting mode. It is very, very interesting thing, uh, the backtesting mode. After that, I will switch to manual mode and explain the uh, details of manual identification. So backtesting mode, as you might have guessed, uh, you can set uh, the number of uh, bars you have on your history. What is the number of bars I have? 5,000 bars, yes. So let me type something 54990, something like this, enough. If I type more than I have, then uh, actually uh, it will tear tell me this what if I type more than I have 6,000 bars yes so it uh, I have 6,000 bars on this one and uh, nothing happens <laughs> in case I have more uh, than 5,000 but for example uh, I type uh, the number that is more uh, it turns into what it turns into what it turns into the number of bars I have uh, let me disable this and let me go to history you see the level it works perfectly you said this one it had stop loss it happens uh, the software draws everything the stops and uh, uh, take profits it's not only drawing uh, winners you see that's precise there exactly a uh, peak to peak reversal here boom here boom this wonderful uh, one hour within one hour winner boom very very good this bad pattern uh, boom here why do we have one two three bad patterns here uh, let me explain it to you uh, you have one two three uh, because your bad pattern first initially it could be drawn this way then it could be drawn this way and then the c point goes here and it could be drawn this way my software is running four different swing identification algorithms and only after uh, all the patterns are drawn according to those uh, identification algorithm it deletes those that are outside of this range uh, of this range in tips or in adrs it filters them uh, that's why uh, you can see some patterns. It drew the pattern according to one swing identification algorithm, to second, and to third. They all fit the rules. That's why you have three of them drawn. So it is a winner. This one is a winner. Uh, what else? This one is a winner. Uh, loser. A loser with this larger size for winner, and so on and so forth. A loser. You just do the backtest. A loser, and you will find more and more and more and more uh, patterns here. A winner almost hit stop loss but didn't. Uh, and so on and so forth. Let me go uh, to the beginning. What if you don't know how many bars you have? Uh, to do the back test, you simply type minus one, minus one, and this will analyze all the bars in history of your chart. Let me disable that. Let me go to the first date, uh, 6 February 2017. No, I don't have uh, the date that is before that. So it starts from the very first bar that I have on my history. If I have 5,000, it will be 5,000. If I have 6,000, it will be 6,000 as well. Okay, let's go next. I think my cipher will hit stop loss. Well, it happens. If it hits stop loss, it will hit stop loss. If you switch that time frame, 
the patterns are recalculated according to your time frame or anything like that. Uh, you see, we don't have valid patterns on uh, 30 minutes. Yes, switch to 15 minutes. We don't have them. Well, we had some uh, godly pattern, but it was a loser recently. Switch to five minutes. A cipher pattern did complete price rank higher. So you see, automatically recalculated. Let's switch to four hour. Uh, butterfly pattern invalidated, but this godly, look at this red, this godly, and this bad. The entry of bad and godly coincide according to my rules, Alexander rules. Uh, remind the 80.9 uh, reversal error is extremely precise, peak to peak. You sometimes uh, can't even enter it because of spread because of that. It is extremely precise. So I advise you to place your orders one spread above uh, the entry. You can see those uh, winners here. Uh, this larger cipher pattern, you, you see that it should be restretched to here. And this butterfly, this gray butterfly, if it hits stop. No, it didn't hit stop. The stop placement is optimal. It is not very large to risk extra money, but it is very precise. So uh, in many cases, you will see that price reverses somewhere a few pips uh, before the stop loss, somewhere around there. So the stop loss is optimal. This A point was invalidated, so this uh, bad pattern is invalidated. So, so. Now let's switch to daily. The time frame doesn't matter. You see uh, the pattern winner of a bet. You have smaller bet, you have larger bet. If you have this situation, what I do, I trade the larger one, the large one. Two swing identification algorithms, uh, two bets drawn. The same here. You can draw side uh, godly this way, and you can draw godly starting from this leg. Yes, that's why you have the one that is completing earlier, the one that complete, uh, completes a bit later, and of course the stop loss is different, and uh, uh, actually it was invalidated. Uh, what is next? You can see uh, the history invalidated here. Yes, it, it broke the B point and then it broke the uh, D point. But uh, let me show you something here if I enable menu, auto scan, false, like this. In case of this, yes, this in the, it broke the B point. So the B point is different and then it uh, broke the C point and the C point is different. It is not detected by the swing identification algorithm, but I will show you something amazing with monster practice search because you have manual too. You can check it. And it was a godly, godly loser. Okay? Uh, so we just picked up a godly loser. A winner, a loser, uh, winner. Uh, this winner, you can see that twice section to the downside. This did complete. So uh, a loser, a loser, winner, a loser, loser, winner, winner. And winner here as well. A winner here as well. So it also works on that daily. Uh, let's go to weekly, weekly. Oh, how many patterns we have on weekly? Let me delete this stuff. Uh, what is this? This butterfly formation on weekly. You can see, you know, uh, this is, uh, I'm talking about this. Yes. You see the enormous winner. Uh, this uh, butterfly and the uh, Egartley uh, price didn't hit the entry. Okay, this cipher, you can see this entry. It went a bit lower, then it hit the stop loss, and then enormous winner. How many pips? It is. 16,000 uh, pips. Yes, it, an enormous winner. So if you are a position trader, uh, this uh, may be a good uh, uh, tool for you as well. Okay, monthly. Yes, butterfly uh, running right now. Butterfly number one, butterfly number two, because it can draw on either from this B point or this uh, C point, but the entry is the same. Running butterfly, almost at the winner. Uh, the winner 32, uh, it, it is almost there. So, uh, guys, it doesn't, uh, it works on every uh, time frame, so it doesn't mean what time frame you are using. Well, as I promised, let's go to manual functions. Let me uh, do like this, maybe, and let me go and auto scan, false, perfect, good. Uh, once you delete uh, everything uh, or you disable automatic scanner, all the patterns disappear and you don't have them, of course. So, you don't have that mess on your chart. Uh, as I promised you, you have several uh, controls on your uh, manual drawing. It is the same as uh, manual HPS, the same comfortable. So if you wish to draw the pattern, you uh, should press C or A. I will explain the difference of what is the C drawing mode and what is A drawing mode. If you press C on your keyboard, type C like this, you enter the X to A to B to C drawing mode like this. You see, this time we didn't have a pattern that is valid. And uh, let's have it this way. Let's try to draw some bad pattern, maybe. 
like this. No, no valve button. Uh, let it be this way. Let me type it here. X A to B to C. No valid button. Uh, do I have them switched? True, but true. Cycle true, butterfly true. Okay, okay, okay. Refresh. Uh, I I want to find some pattern uh, that will look. A to B. See, no valid pattern. This is a bit strange. This means that we don't have a pattern. A to B to C. Okay, uh, we don't have a pattern. Ah, at least I can't, I can't find any. Uh, the manual function of that. Monster pattern search. Auto scan to false. ATR is good. This one let me let me reset that. And auto scan to false. Okay. Now it should show uh, the patterns. Next. A to B to C. Uh, no valid pattern here. And here X to A to B to C. No valid pattern here. X to A to B and C. Okay, we have a cipher pattern. Yes, so um, this is the way it works. Uh, you have to check this swing, you have to check that swing, and it will uh, calculate uh, the ratios between these swings. So uh, it will uh, do the calculation. And another way to draw the patterns, another way to draw the pattern, uh, let me show you something, uh, maybe here, is to press A. This is a quick method. You just type from C to X, like this. Yes, and you have that. You see the back pattern appeared very precise uh, level of 80.9 that I uh, found with my back testing. You see 88.6, the standard level, uh, didn't hit, but 80.9 hit. So very, very many situation my blood test me. Let me find some more, uh, maybe recent patterns uh, that took place. This one, maybe this one will be okay. Nothing here. Uh, maybe this one. Uh, nothing. I know what happens. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Uh, the filter, it filters the trades. Uh, let me type it from 1 ATR to 100 ATR. So uh, now I will demonstrate you the uh, power of manual HPS. So we see the pattern, uh, but it is, it, it is simply small. It was filtered. So this is the pattern here. Uh, we have the pattern here as well. From here to here, like this, yes. Uh, we have some small, just uh, pick up some losers. Uh, then uh, what can we else draw? We can also draw uh, the empty space chart uh, like this on empty space. Maybe butterfly patterns. Yes, uh, you see that. Uh, why do we need that? I don't know. Why uh, can you need that to draw the patterns? Okay. Uh, what if you drew something wrong like this? Yes. If you press D, those X, A, B, C letters disappear. Yes. If you uh, draw it this way, Yes, this is something wrong. Press D and the lines disappear, but pattern stay. Uh, what if you already have plenty of drawings on your chart? Yeah, just press X S uh, on your keyboard and the patterns will disappear. Okay, let me redraw the patterns. This, to this, to this. Manual function, uh, manual drawing function. But mind the filter, mind the filter. You, uh, I just disabled that to show you the patterns, how it draws the patterns. But if you enable filter, the patterns won't be drawn because uh, because the filter, they will be filtered. So small patterns, uh, the software will disallow you uh, the patterns. Uh, well, uh, that's it for manual function. Next, uh, what else you can do? You can calculate uh, the number of bars. If you press X on your keyboard and you press the bar, you will have the number of this bar. This number is 140 something. In comments, you will see that 147. Let me have it this way. Uh, pay attention to these comments. X and then 218. Let's go here. It is 218 bar 218. So from here to here, we have 218 bars. Uh, you can go to your third bar of back testing, or maybe you want to do the back test starting from this date. Yes, just press the keyboard 953. Go to your settings and type uh, 953. Uh, perfect. Next, what, what else you can do? What else you can do? You can also uh, calculate the ATR. For example, what is the level of one ATR below this low? Press Z on your keyboard and click here. You will have 1 ATR, 2 ATR below this low, 1 ATR, 2 ATR uh, above this low. 
Uh, why do you need this? Well, uh, this is very simple. Maybe, maybe uh, you. I need to have stop loss a bit higher. It should be one spread above, like this. One spread above. Okay. So uh, if you have that uh, stop loss, for example, let me draw the pattern X to A to B to C, and you say, Alex, I dislike your recommended stop loss placement. I want two ATRs above uh, two ATRs above X. So you are welcome to place your stop loss here. Well, that's it about monster pattern search. All the features were covered in this video. Uh, all the possibilities were demonstrated. It can draw godly patterns, it can draw harmonic patterns uh, according to the rules. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, I did uh, explain one feature. What is this perfect or standard? Uh, there are some variations, uh, most commonly known variations. For example, the godly uh, pattern perfect and standard variation. The perfect uh, godly transformation variation is that the C point lays within the range of 618 to and the standard variation says that it can lays. Uh, within the 6182AB. So the standard means that the uh, uh, most people trade that uh, as from uh, 786 to AB. So this is what it switches back. Uh, the butterfly formation, the perfect and standard, uh, of course, uh, it is the entry point. Mostly it is the entry point. The perfect uh, pattern, the perfect butterfly formation has the entry of 127X to A. Uh, but the standard, this means that uh, a lot of traders use uh, instead of that standard variation is the 127AB uh, extension. Uh, what if we talk about the uh, harmonic patterns? What are those perfect and standard patterns? Uh, the perfect pattern for a godly pattern means that uh, in a standard pattern the C point can lay within 382 and 886, but in a standard pattern the C point, uh, but in a perfect pattern the C point should lay within 618 and 786. So uh, it is very, very strict for uh, harmonic patterns. The bad pattern, uh, the B point can be 382 to 50, yes, but with perfect it can only be 50. Uh, the C point is the same, uh, instead of 382 to 886, it should only be the uh, 50 to 618 uh, to have the better confluence within the potential reversal zone. What is the butterfly pattern? If you have perfect, it only considers the uh, C point ratio uh, from uh, 50 to 786 instead of 382 to 886. Uh, the same with crab and deep crab. Uh, a bit deeper alternative bet and the uh, sharks doesn't have that variations okay so uh, now you have the difference between these they are simply two sets of most commonly uh, variations they are also explained on my website uh, and you can read the rules and variation rules uh, most commonly used uh, but here if you enable four you will have alexander Nikitin variation as well so uh, i i'm not pretending that my variation is very common just i uh, found some uh, pretty powerful levels and uh, i found that uh, it, it may work better if used this way. Okay, let's uh, talk about the performance of this software. Uh, what can we find? Oh, <laughs> you see how many patterns I enabled? And they automatically were found because of this uh, range. Now let me filter them from 8 to uh, 34. From 8 to 34, AVR size. Uh, why I choose 8 to 34? Uh, why not uh, 10 to 30? Because 8 is the number from Fibonacci sequence, I'm a fan of Fibonacci, and 34 is the number from Fibonacci sequence as well. So to me, uh, uh, this range is optimal. Uh, you can use your own, of course. Uh, I'm not an authority to uh, demand you to use that <laughs> on that level. Uh, going next, what is next? Uh, let's go here. Uh, no, it's not that. Backtesting. Backtesting. Go to backtest. Backtest. Backtesting Pro. I've done the backtesting of 10 pairs uh, using most pattern search, uh, checking the advanced formation. If we go to the last page here and the diagram, you will see the total number of patterns that I found 11,000 patterns. Think of that 11,000 patterns. What, what this means? This means enormous amount of work. Uh, let's do some quick calculations. Uh, for example, you are an experienced tra uh, trader and you can spot the pattern on history, for example, uh, within five minutes. It is pretty quick, it is pretty fast. So you uh, scroll in your chart bar by bar and you say, okay, here is the bad pattern, for example. And to, uh, to check if this bad pattern is valid, you have to measure your XA leg, then you have to measure your AB leg, then you have to measure your BC leg, 
then you are to measure your entry you measure your stops you measure your targets and then you scroll your chart bar by bar uh, to uh, see if it hit a profit or if it hit stop loss so this is the uh, standard way of doing the backtest you just scroll it and you just draw and measure every side of your pattern if you are fast enough you can do that within five minutes you can find one pattern within five minutes uh, I recommend you to find 100 patterns on one pair on one time frame so if you wish to uh, backtest one hour and four hour you need to fi uh, find uh, 100 patterns on one hour and 100 patterns on four hour as well okay 200 patterns total uh, as you know we don't need uh, we aren't trading only let's say godlies if you wish to trade bats if you wish to trade ciphers you wish to trade butterflies and godlies the four patterns so you are to find 100 each 100 for each pattern this is 400 okay four types of patterns uh, let me do it this way four types of patterns yes multiplied 100 this is only one time frame two time frames yes let's have one hour and four hour multiply two time frames 800 patterns total 800 patterns total on one pair multiply 10 for 10 pair portfolio 10 pairs you have 8000 patterns I found 11,000 patterns 8,000 would be enough okay next each pattern is found within five minutes multiply five minutes what we have we have 40,000 minutes let's uh, turn them into something familiar yes what is this uh, if we divide by 60 minutes this means 666 hours suppose you don't need to go to your work you only uh, uh, spend your time for backtesting and you spend 10 hours a day backtesting divide by 10 what you have you have 66 days what is actually 66 days 60 days two months uh, almost three months 66 you see working 10 hours a day you will spend almost three months only to draw the patterns so the work that you have seen here and this yes just uh, enable uh, what is this minus one this work instead of uh, three months of work you see that all the patterns are drawn within uh, what what was that 10 seconds five seconds see the power and out of those patterns you can choose those that perform better I will show you how uh, let's go to portfolio we all know that every pair has its own personality uh, that's why I did the quick calculation what is the probability of price to hit the first target on four hour using large patterns and using medium patterns uh, something like this just uh, do the settings here uh, what is large for you for example 16 ATRs or maybe uh, something that is more than 300 pips is considered large it doesn't matter uh, what you decide yes so uh, large patterns and medium patterns I decided something that is more than 8 ATR is large and that is less than 8 ATR is medium and small okay so large and small uh, some of them 60% accurate some of them uh, slightly less if compiled together uh, to have larger statistical number you will see that uh, medium patterns perform better on uh, Aussie Canadian uh, Aussie Canadian pair same with Aussie yen you can see uh, all the patterns perform almost the best uh, uh, this green means that the pattern has more than 55% uh, accuracy more than 55% accuracy so this means but you can also trade the 54 it, it's up to you uh, it, it's your way of risking Aussie yen almost all of them working uh, pretty good Aussie dollar some of them working extremely good some of them working a bit less yes slightly different slight difference 2% 3% but uh, it make uh, it makes the change just imagine that that you have 52 percent yes uh, well you have slightly edge of winning and you are slightly winning but you pay in your commissions you pay in your spread you pay in your swaps and all your profits are eaten by uh, those things so you you can just choose those that are extremely uh, higher uh, above 60 for example above 55 for example how can you do that how can you do that do the back test spend the uh, 66 days doing backtesting 10 hours a day and after this work is done uh, compile that Excel spreadsheet and calculate what is what what pair is better for you uh, what time frame is better for you calculate that decide what uh, what pattern is good for you and after that compile a, a trading plan and write it down in trading plan trade only large bets uh, on a dollar yen 
and uh, do not trade large butterfly, large sidefly, and large godly, and trade only medium godly, medium bad, medium sidefly. So you, you see how you can optimize that. Look at this. Initially, if you trade all the patterns, you have on a total the four patterns, yes, uh, 54 percent probability of hitting the first target. But if optimized, you have 57. Uh, what I mean by optimize? What I mean by optimization? This means that you just choose what patterns to trade: large, medium, uh, godly, or not godly. You see, some pairs show radical improvement. Some pairs are only slightly improved from 60 to 61, not, uh, not the best improvement in the world. But uh, look at this, from 55 to 60, from 54 to 57. The improvement you may achieve is, well, it is uh, one level up. It is uh, one head higher than other traders. While all the traders are using this uh, trading consistently patterns, uh, for example, somebody is trading patterns consistently and they only can achieve this result as their best yes this blue result as their best you are one head above them you can achieve this green result because you have most patterns search think of that well that's it about the performance of most patterns search uh, the latest version is 3.5 if you guys have all the versions contact me to get free update if you have 3.4 if you have 2.3 or something of that kind contact me to have the free update I will send it to you. Until then, good luck and good trading. Hope to see you soon.